I grew up in a family of entrepreneurship. My dad and my mom run their own business. Everybody I knew growing up had their own business. So I've always wanted to do the same. I was a banker for 17 years. Uh, but about 10 years ago, I left uh, corporate America and started my own company. But my passion is really helping entrepreneurs grow. So I do a management consulting. I do entrepreneurship training with various organizations and various programs here in Cleveland. Michael not only has all of the tools to be able to teach business, but he teaches them in such a way that he makes you believe in them. And over the course of the program, believe in your ability to not only absorb them, but to implement them. He makes himself available for the individual questions, and he gives you the confidence to be able to put those answers into action. And when you have a specific problem, when I'm saying, I see this in my inventory and on my balance sheet, and I don't know how to change that, this is what I'm thinking about. He will address that problem with me specifically. He'll help me with the perspective to look at it differently, which is something when you're in it day to day does not come terribly easily. Next step program is hands-on, peer-to-peer learning. The content of most entrepreneur programs, you know, they're about business, right? You know, marketing, financial statement, they're all similar is the delivery that is different. A lot of the programs will have an instructor for each module. So the instructor come and delivers the financial module and then he or she leaves. In this program, I'm the instructor throughout. I bring guests, people that are experts, but I see every student progress from each module from the beginning to the end. Michael Obi, our instructor, he asked us all to describe our business and what our day-to-day -day roles. And anything that did not have to do with an executive level role in the business, he said, well, you're not going to be doing that anymore, and you're not going to be doing that anymore. There were about eight roles where I thought I was indispensable that that over the months fell away. The freeing up of that time for me to focus on the more executive levels out of the 12 or 13 modules has had such a profound impact on the effectiveness of our business. The end product is they come out of the class with what we call growth action plan. You know, the strategic plan that is growth oriented and is action packed. There is no wiggle room. You know, you can have just a lofty goal with no action on how you're going to manifest those plans. A big part of the program was to put together a formal growth plan. I didn't have that before. I, you know, I would probably describe myself as a visionary. I mean, I, I, can, I can see what I want us to be and what, what you know, we can be for this community. But you know, it takes more than just having the vision. You have to work the plan. Yeah. The model is really about measuring the growth of these businesses after graduation. So we are always following up with them to see how many people they have hired, how many jobs that are being created in the neighborhood, you know, whether they have uh, received additional contracts, uh, how their revenue is growing, and then if they're dealing with any challenges that they need help with. Another area that is unique is that we really connect them to resources. There was a lady that came and spoke with us one night for the Next Step program from the Cleveland Sewer District. She helped me go through their certification process so that I could become a vendor with the, the Sewer District. So the opportunities were real. They were not just, you know, talking out of a textbook and telling you what could happen. They were connecting you with resources and they made it happen. Particularly as a small business person, we are asked to wear a lot of hats and you tend to prioritize things. You know, so especially in today's society, things are just changing in virtually every industry so dramatically that you need to have a next step. You need to have a plan that's going to keep you moving along with the, the, the changes. Having a next step program disciplines you to prepare and to move your business along with your day-to-day -day operations, so I think it's invaluable. I'm not sure if between scheduling the appointments and doing the invoicing and billing and stocking the inventory and networking the clients, you've really had a chance to look at where are you gonna be in the next three years? Where are you gonna be in 10? How are you gonna get there? 
How much money is it gonna take to get there? Are you really making money or do you just think you are because you're making payroll? How are you gonna make more? And how are you gonna optimize what you do have to be able to grow? Anybody that is uh, truly a believer in, in their business needs to know that there's never a right time to make a very serious commitment to the, the growth and success of your business. If you ever think you don't have the money, if you don't have the time and you don't have the energy, or you don't need anybody else's help to grow your business or to make your business more effective, you need a reality check. It's so worth the investment. The Next Step program gives you real life experience, connects you with real life resources. They always tell you that your network is your net worth and the network that you're going to become a part of in the Next Step business program is priceless. If you're struggling with making a decision to join the Next Step program, invest the time, invest the money, it will, be, it will pay itself back 10 times over.